The president, Dr. Irfan Ali, on Wednesday said that his government is committed to working with indigenous communities in the hinterland regions to ensure sustainable development and livelihood, and more importantly, to ensure that they are a part of the mainstream development of Guyana. His comments were made at the handing over ceremony of 30 tractors and trailers to indigenous communities in regions 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 9, a campaign promise that has now been fulfilled. The handing over ceremony was held at the Hinterland Scholarship Dormitory at Liliendal. And we are not going to spare any expenditure to ensure that we deliver to you better and higher quality education, but more importantly, give you and your communities the access to educational services that is so critically needed in the transformation agenda. It is also important for us to equip you with what is necessary to sustain your livelihood, to improve community services, and to advance your productive capacity. In advancing your productive capacity, you need the equipment, you need the tools, you need the technology, you need the knowledge, you need the technical support so that we can move to different forms of agriculture, so that we can move to high value, sustainable crops, whilst at the same time supporting the community economy. According to the president, that achievement is not only centered on the provision of goods and services, but also the transformation of Guyana's human resources. Hence, the president said that government's drive for education is also a critical pathway for the advancement of indigenous communities. I am pleased to be participating in this ceremony, which attests to our commitment to hinterland food security and to the generation of economic livelihood for hinterland communities. Further, President Ali outlined that the government will continue to develop strategies, plans and projects that speak directly to the needs of various communities. He was keen to note that those plans will be developed not by the subject ministries, but in the communities that will directly benefit from the investments. Reporting for The Newsroom, Shikima Day.